Sure. My name is uh, Sarah Potzler. I am an architect here in Arizona. I, I mean, I think a big one is my childhood. My mom is a, is a big factor to my uh, success, how strict she was, uh, the discipline. She was also a hustler herself. My mom put herself through school while after my parents got divorced and she went and got her master's. Um, so she was a great role model, but she always put education first. And also, um, the mentors I've had along my way have been very helpful. Uh, I went to university of Arizona and the education is incredible and very unique as well. It's a strong program. So from that and then into my career as well, I still, I still have a mentor. by teaching at ASU or mentoring those who want to pass their um, NCARB exams to become licensed mm -hmm. and then also just helping out where I can with the community. Um, I believe, you know, passion and integrity are probably two of them. Passion is the biggest one. Um, everything I do, I do it because I truly love it or believe in it. And uh, from teaching to my career. I, I truly love my job. And then integrity, I think, is a, a only way truly to be successful. You have to be aware of your abilities, be, a well, be aware of your downfalls, and be willing to admit when you're in the wrong. So now that it's developed more and there's, you know, urban areas, there's art, there's culture, there's music. I think it's becoming more of a city. I think that there are some downfalls still to it, such as urban sprawl, which is causing the heat island effect to get worse and climate change. Mm -hmm. Um. I think, you know, sharing my passion for architecture with others is the reason that I am a, a teacher. Mm -hmm. And it's also the reason that I mentor. Um, that has to do a lot with my passion. And so the, some of the projects, though, too, in being involved with um, the community would be helping underserved communities uh, with design. And so we just finished a project out for the San Carlos Apache tribe, uh, designing it. It just broke ground actually last week. And another project that I'm really excited about working on is in Yuma. Um, I tend to work with hospitals, um, major hospitals in the Valley, and they do, you know, important things as well. It's just at a, at a different scale and approach. I think in our firm, community is one of our core values at Cunningham. And so it's great to have that as a core value because then you can collaborate with other team members and have the same approach. Uh, then we also try to team up with other members in the community who have that, ask, you know, um, who have that uh, viewpoint, for example. I mean, there's things like from Habitat for Humanity that is a great movement, but then also like even some of our teachers at school, um, like one of our professors, Mary Hardin, she builds uh, a home once a year that is sustainable and for in, you know, a family that's in need. Um, and she would have the students get involved in that, in that as well. That was our design build project for the year. So... I think having professors who are involved with the community and also, you know, like I mentioned, some colleagues are as well. Um, I think they all play an influence and we all feed off of each other. You know, to get involved, um, to, 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 to care and to have passion in what you do. Um, you could always do the base like the, the bases uh, that's required, right?